is I'm hooking. So a lot of people think that you're going to catch the kettlebell and grip with all this palm meat in there. We don't want to have all that. Pete, can you come get close on us here? This is, this is a video that I, I do a lot, but we're going to do it in a different, different way. So this one, we don't want to grab here and then have it twist. Because watch how, when I open up my hand, watch how white it is. Look at that, so all the blood, it was gone. So I don't want to create a crease here, bunching up this skin, which will bunch up the calluses. And even if I do have calluses, calluses are there to protect that area, but what happened from basically friction. What we don't want to do is they bunch up too big, they will rip from below, right? If I'm twisting that way, I'm literally ripping them off. So now what I want to do is with a kettlebell, so let's say it's up here in the clean. Now I have my loose grip here, my false grip. This is, see, that's pretty loose, right? Now that's tight. But see, I don't need to grip. It's the same thing happens. Kettlebell stays there. So now as I go to drop, I'm just gonna let this kettlebell fall. See? Mm -hmm. Now, the same thing, I'm gonna let it fall, but I'm gonna grip it with the same hand. So I'm gonna let it drop. And now what I did was, see how I have a hook? See how it's not grab in the middle? I've hooked it here. Now as soon as I go to catch that, as soon as my elbow extends, that's when the kettlebell is going to start going to its backswing. That's when I'm going to wrap. I'm going to create a little cinch with my thumb. Okay? It's kind of the opposite of Olympic lifting when you're doing a hook grip, when you're gripping your thumb. We're going to do the opposite. So we grab, and some people, Fingers are totally different, right? So the longer your fingers you have, the more you can actually wrap and grip. So that creates kind of a cinch. All right, so I'm here, I drop, and I make sure that this kettlebell is in alignment with the bones of my arm. I don't want it to be here, I don't want it to be here. Okay. Now, I think I did a video on that, but it's probably gonna get lost in our, anyway, so I'm going to catch, I drop it here, I let it roll, I open up my hand, I let it catch, and once it starts swinging back, I'm going to, I'm going to create that cinch okay. with my thumb. Now, as soon as that kettlebell is in this alignment right here with my arm, I want to maintain that straight plumb line that's hanging down here. Now that's the thing about the swing. I'm creating the swing for kettlebell sport with my lower body. All right, so I'm, once this comes down, it's almost gonna connect into my body. That's when I'm gonna start bending and absorbing at the hips and knees. Now, instead of just straight up, because we're gonna bring it back to the, here, right? 
And this is hard because it's a very light weight. Mm -hmm. So, same thing. So the kettlebell's here. I'm not going to grip it right there and let it continue to grind right. my hand. Right. See what happens. Okay. Red. It stays red. Yeah. It's not squeezing the blood out. It's not doing that. All right. So fingers, thumb, pendulum. Pendulum, that's why we're putting it a lot into our legs. It's going to come up, okay? So, right down here, I want to grip. If I'm getting tired, it's going longer. Right here, I might want to absorb and grip a little harder, and that's where it wears your arm out. As you get into rep 10. As I as you get into rep far 10. Farther reps, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. You grip it's more. getting tough. You're going to have to. Okay. But it's still technique, because it doesn't matter. Just how hard I grip, it's the technique's gonna change in the whole body too. Gotcha. Whole other video, Not right now. Okay. So grip as much as you need to. Okay. Now, I've had some sets in competition where the bell comes down and I just can't grab it right there. It's literally gonna rip. So I might, uh, right there, catch it before it, slow it down, because as soon as I go fast, remember, more mm -hmm. speed, that's gonna rip. Right? It's like silly putty. If we stretch it slow, it's gonna go. But if we stretch it fast, it's just gonna snap. Okay? okay? So think about that. Silly putty hands. Just as much as I need to. Now, you wanna catch it at a point that it's gonna go in to the downswing smoothly. Okay. We don't wanna see any of, any of these yeah. wobble, down, once I catch it in a, in a jerk, we don't see any of these little, even though you caught it, it's still wibble wobble, right? We don't want that. Because here, let me test this out. Let me see your hand. Squeeze, let Pete get on this. Squeeze my hand as hard as you can, okay? Just go ahead and squeeze it. Squeeze as hard as you possibly can. Okay, so I broke that hand, I can feel some pain. All right, now, ready? Now. Squeeze my hand as hard as you possibly can. Oh, that is going to hurt my wrist. Well, you don't have, so don't do it. Okay. You don't have anything. Yeah. So now, do you see why we don't want to catch this like this? Yeah. Because you can't squeeze. Yeah. It's not optimal. Exactly. You've already shortened your finger flexors. See, you've shortened that. People think that. Or they'll catch the weight. They're gripping hard. And then the bell, let's see this angle. But the bell flip flops. Right because they went too fast. That's the same thing of having a strong, grip strong. See? Yeah. All I gotta do is, if you grip me as hard as you possibly can, all I have to do is bend your wrist. See? Then you lose your grip. Right. Same thing with the kettlebell. Um, okay. So now, let's go with this because I'll actually... You see any bobble? So, here's why I think you should do the snap, the clean. You have to make the clean perfect. The clean might be tougher than the snatch, technique-wise, because I have a shorter time to get it right. Mm -hmm. Watch the snatch. Look how much longer I have to get it right. So at the top, even there. The you're same right, thing. You're, you're kind of, you're not gripping too much. Nothing. No. Yeah. Okay. This. Feel this. Now. Feel that. Push. Soft. Ready? Now, how most people do it. Now, now do it. Right. It's right. Feel the difference? Yeah. What's going to wear out? If I'm going to do 100 reps. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we don't want to do that. No matter what you do, you have to pay attention where you think the bell will be. I want to flip it to where I want it to be. 
So, it's like pitching. It's like throwing. Kettlebells are so athletic. Doing that to a clean versus to a snatch is the same thing as if I'm throwing a football five yards that way, running over here five yards that way, or 20 yards that way. It's still a throw. It just depends on how much. We have to predict where we, right? So it's the same thing with this. So if we're, it's the same weight. Now, this is for kettlebell sport, right? That is not hard style. That is not as much force as I possibly can because it's a totally different game. The difference between sprinting 40 and then having an 800 or having a 5K, it's all varying levels of, you can go as fast as you possibly can, but you have to be able to pace yourself. So kettlebells are all about kettlebell sport. It's all about pacing yourself. That's why I love it. So it's life. Life's about pacing yourself. Um, anyway. Cool. But yeah, so that does that help a little bit? A Just lot. to kind of show. Okay, cool. A lot. Uh, no, your turn. Okay. Just a couple reps. Okay. Use your blue. Use your blue or that one if you want to. Uh, Let me grab that. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. This one? Yeah, let's take that. So it's a 26 pound bell. Now, do you need to grip hard there? No, I'm, okay. saying, yeah, I'm gripping. You're, yeah, right. See, yeah. it's in your wrist. Yep. It's not going to go through your wrist. Put it overhead. It's not going to fall off, right? People get worried that they're going to lose the kettlebell up there. Can do you think you're going to lose that kettlebell? No. All right, look. Uh, hold it there for a second. I know your shoulders are tired. Yeah, they're really tired. But see, right here, this should be locked against your ulna. Ulna. Let's just say lower arm. <laughs> And see that corner right there? It's a 45 degree angle. Kettlebell is going through a wrist, like a false grip. People in CrossFit will understand that, rings, anything like that. So low down carefully to your rack position. Nice catch. Drop down into the swing, clean. Good. Now do you see how you absorb it? Think about it. kettlebell, it's like a bungee. Yeah. It's like a bungee jump. I don't want a really tight bungee cable. Well, I'm not gonna do any damn bungee jumping. I'm afraid of that shit. But see what I mean? You're a nice new bungee cable for that kettlebell. Picture if that kettlebell was you <laughs> and your arm is the bungee cable, right? Now, do you want that bungee cable to, to pull really, really, really hard where it's attached to, to the shoulder or the bridge? No. Pull you hard. want it to pull right. You want it yeah. to be optimal, yeah. right? Yeah. So now if it was yanking real hard, what's going to happen to that foundation where it's attached? Stressed. It would be stressed. Perfect word. Yay. Awesome. Thanks. That's 13 Thank minutes. Yeah, that's, that's a that's our weekly video on helping our client and friends be more proficient in their kettlebell path journey or whatever other heck fitness thing you want to say. Alrighty. Swing this. Bye bye.